It's great to be here with you, and uh, I'm also uh, have with me and is my good friend and colleague Steve Kent. And Steve is the Minister of Health and Community Services, and he's also the Deputy Premier. And I got to tell you, Justin, are you still there? Or are you having a break? <clears throat> when Justin said, "I want to know everyone truthfully, how are you feeling?" Steve leaned over to me and said, "I'm tired." <laughs> so Steve works hard, and uh, and we work very hard. But I'm going to tell you, we're really, really, really uh, glad to be here with you tonight. And what a great event this is. And uh, for the steering committee, Patrick, Debbie, Fiona, Paul, uh, Stephanie, Julie, and Krista, what a great job they've done to put this together. Don't you think they've done a great job here? <laughs> and bringing people and our youth from all over Newfoundland and Labrador is a marvelous thing to do. And I was here a few months ago, and I had the pleasure to come here when, when Patrick had a full school event. And he had a full day right here in uh, Holy Heart High School and to talk about mental health and mental illness and talk about stigma. And I was uh, really pleased to attend at that point in time as well and, and knew that he was just getting started. And I, I saw Patrick earlier this week and uh, he was, he's a really phenomenal young man and, and I don't know the rest of the members on the steering committee or also there are subcommittees that were made up and, and there's a group of people there as well. So congratulations to all of you. But every now and then in life, you, you meet people who, who inspire you. And, and give you drive to go on to do better and better things. Uh, many years ago, Steve Kent was one of those people for me, I've got to be honest, and I was working in Mount Pearl, and I spent 25 years as a, as a police officer, and I was working in a community policing office in Mount Pearl, and Steve was a young man back then. And Steve was, in his younger days, was not a lot unlike Patrick. Um, him and Patrick Hickey have a lot in common, actually, because Steve was a was a guy who was doing things in his community that mattered to people. And now he does that for not only his community Mount Pearl, but does it for his province. So you, I'm very pleased to have known Steve for many years, and I'm also very pleased to have had the opportunity to meet Patrick and get to know him a little bit, and also get a good understanding of work that he's doing. Stigma is, uh, is, is really tough for people and can be really hard. And I'll, and I'll tell you a story I told here in Holy Heart when I was here the last time. And it's about it's my own personal story of senses, I suppose, about stigma, but I want to, I want to use it to, so you understand sometimes what stigma really is. And my dad died in 2007. And before he died, he three times a week used to go to the Waterford Hospital for treatments. It's a, a lot of people don't know that. Some people do and some people don't. And so right now, you all have an impression and some sense of understanding about my father and you have my dad and you have some, some thought about him. What he went to the Waterford for was for dialysis treatments because he was a dialysis patient. Now you think something different about my dad. That's stigma. That's stigma. That is reaching a conclusion or thinking a way about a person because of the type of illness they have. Because the truth is, is that having mental illness is no different than having the flu or uh, having a sports injury. It can happen to any one of us at any time. And we know that the numbers are staggering. We know the numbers are very, very staggering. So it affects all of us, and it affects every, every family, it affects every community, it affects friends groups and peer groups. So what the important thing that's happening here this weekend is discussion is happening about it. Because it is as normal as any other illness. And we've got to come to reality with that. We've got to come to grips with that. So I'm really glad what, the Pat what Patrick is doing, what all of you are doing and participating here, because it gives us a better understanding of what takes place. Last, year, last summer, I made a commitment that if I became Premier, which I did last fall, that I wanted to, have, I wanted to do more about health. And we formed, and, and actually, interesting, <laughs> interesting thing about it. Want to hear a funny story about it? Because, see, Steve Kent wanted to be Premier, too. <laughs> and while Steve and I know each other for a long time, we kind of battled it out last summer. But he's very, very important to me and very important to our government. And Steve, as the Minister of Health, I made a promise that we're going to do a health summit, a Premier's summit on health. And Steve, as the Minister of Health, was leading that. And he did a fabulous job of it. Him and, him and the people in, in the department, they traveled around Newfoundland and Labrador and they held consultation sessions. They did it in, all over the province. Met with hundreds of people who gave us lots of great ideas and had discussions about what was important. 
And then earlier this year, this, just this past winter, we brought 300 people together in one room. We brought them into one hotel here in St. John's. And Steve organized, uh, and his crew organized, an opportunity to talk in more depth about the biggest things that we heard. And one of the big things we heard was about mental health, about mental illness, treatment, intervention. And then with the, with the experts we had in the room, we had 300 people. A lot of them were, were, uh, were regular, ordinary folks, but a lot of them were people who work in hospitals and healthcare, deliver services and programs to people of our province. And we want to talk about how we do it better. And we did a great job of it all day. We had those, nobody left. It was, a, it was a wonderful day. I spent the whole day there myself as well. And it was a wonderful day. We learned a lot and we're bringing that together. And as, as we do that, and as you do what you're doing, that helps us with our goal to provide better programs and better services. And that's what we want to do because it's important for us to do it. So my commitment and our commitment to you is that we're going to continue to do that work to make health services better for all. And that's what we want to do. Now, we heard Justin earlier talk about when he was in high school. Well, I'll tell you when I was in high school because I was terrified too. I can tell you, I, was, I remember in younger years when we were in band or we had to stand on the stage as a classroom and sing and I'd always be the one to stand in the back so nobody could see me. That was a bit of a challenge for me because I was taller than most everybody else. So I had to do this sometimes. And I had to stand in the back because I, I didn't want to sing, I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to play an instrument because I was terrified. And I, when I sat in the classroom, I was afraid the teacher was going to ask me a question that I didn't know the answer. And now here I am in a, in a life that we pick as politicians where every single day people are doing their best to criticize us, to talk about us, they say we're no good, they say bad things about us, and they do it all the time when the truth is that we work very hard for you. And we do the best that we can as well. And every day when I start my day in the daytime and I want to go home in the evening, my goal is to go home and when I lay in bed in the nighttime, I want to be able to close my eyes and go to sleep knowing that I did what was right today or I did what I felt was my best every day. And that's what you need to do. If you do what's right and you treat people with respect, it will come back to you over and over and over again. It's a lesson I learned many, many years ago and I try to stay true to it today and I encourage you to do it. Because I know Patrick does it, the rest of his group do it, and I'm sure all of you do it as well. So you're gonna have a great weekend. And it's going to be challenging sometimes, and it's not a bad thing for us to be challenged because it makes us better people. But be true to yourselves. Put everything into it. You've done a lot of work to get here, and you're going to get a lot out of it when you leave. And if you work really hard and you interact and you, you let your feelings be known and you have good discussion, you're going to get even more out of it. So I encourage all of you to do it. So congratulations to you for coming. Congratulations to everyone who's worked hard. The school, your principal, the school district as well has done great work in supporting the students who've worked hard to put this together so congratulations to all of you i hope you have a wonderful weekend enjoy every bit of it it's going to be a great weekend so and so where's the one from ontario who's here from ontario i see your hand how did you end up coming here your aunt you i heard earlier about you actually oh there she is hi i and i understood that you heard about this and you decided you just had to be here is that how it went? Well, good for you. How great is that, everyone? That's wonderful. <laughs> so everybody, thanks again for having me here. I'm so pleased to be able to spend a few minutes with you tonight. Congratulations to you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And stay, Steve, you're going to stay for a little while with them tonight and uh, get the best out of it. I, I, uh, I'm so, so happy for you and for Patrick. And Patrick's done some wonderful things if you haven't met him. And I was talking, am I telling tales out of school if I tell this? Patrick, come here. Come here, Patrick. There you are. Oh, he loves this part. Well, we are. How you doing, buddy? Good, thanks. Good. You got a pretty good turnout here. Not too bad. Yeah, I see your mom and dad are right there in the second row. Yeah, I think she's crying. Is she crying? <laughs> is she really crying? <laughs> if she wasn't, she is now. <laughs> Steve Kent is sitting right in front of her. Is that why she's crying? I don't know. Oh, oh. I don't know. Uh, they're pretty proud of you. And you got your family, some of your family there with you, and so they should be. So earlier this week, I had the chance to congratulate Patrick because there's an organization or a company in Canada called Bell. And some of you may have heard that uh, recently they did a, a kind of a competition called Let's Talk. Do you remember that? They were doing all kinds of tweets and communications and stuff. I think uh, Minister Kent was tweeting that day. Oh, was he tweeting yeah. that today? Yeah. He tweets a lot, <laughs> don't you? 
I wonder what he says about me on Twitter. I don't know. But uh, so Patrick's had the honor of winning a national award as a young person who's talking about mental, mental illness in our community in Canada. And Bell Canada has recognized him and given him a national honor. And how great is that for you? Good for you, Patrick. There's people you're going to meet that are going to inspire you. Have a chat with this guy. He's going to inspire you. He's doing great and wonderful things. Congratulations, Patrick, and everyone. Have a great weekend. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.